I love the fact that some governors are putting some other governors on their toes. <laughs> I will prove them to Ona now so that Ona can understand where me are they come from. This one sweet me. <laughs> when you are a good governor, you will be. Some people will be intimidated by your doings. But let me go straight to the point. Alan Suti, the governor of Abe State. Governor Tineke Huaraka got prepared and gave to Abe State to break them from the charcoals of bad leadership of 24 years. Alan Suti. With him doings inside that state, he got one inauguration where you go. A mm -hmm. few months after he was sworn in as governor of Abe State. He gave it to him talk for there. He said, Look, Abians, I am here to work for you. <laughs> I am God sent. I have seen the massive support you guys gave me. And I am not obligated to fail. I will perform because you people are happy that a new man has come to power. A man with a vision. You believed in my manifesto. He said, Yes. And to tell Luna, say, I am not after the money. I didn't come to politics because of money. <laughs> I came to leave a mark. I know we collect salary for four years. I don't need it. But by the time I am done with Abia State, in my first four years in office, you people will know that of the truth. A leadership has come to Abia State. God is on the throne. Abia will truly be. Uh, uh, how do you think they call us that time? We think that our motto. God's own state. Abia will truly be the God's own state. Uh -huh. That's what you think. Talk him. One man is intimidated, and I don't need anybody to tell me that this man is intimidated by Ale, uh, Ale Sud. Who am I talking about? The governor of Anambra State, Chasoludo. He is well intimidated by Ale Sud. Because some of him doing, some of him talking, he's going to say, this one, they try to follow the footsteps of somebody so that he can save himself for second turn. It is good though. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. If you see good thing, copy him. Copy the good thing and do it. You understand? Uh -huh. All of us are after good governance inside this country. So if you see something that is good, copy it. But make a show owner. Wait till me at the talk about, you know, as you take touch this uh, Charles Soludo. <laughs> copy one or two from Alex Udi. Ungwa, watch this video. As I speak to you, I have not, I'm not being, I'm, I'm not taking any salary, I'm not paid any salary by Anambra State Government. Even the first lady of Anambra doesn't have any official car. She still drives my personal vehicles. We are executing the most austere government ever. And directing resources, cutting waste, cutting the cut of governance to bare bones, and directing resources, prioritizing them to what is the most important for the people. And so what you say, all delivering, is that we are determined, at least if I don't, can't do anything else, having been governor of the central bank, and not just another governor, who manage the resources of this country, with annual budget of the central bank over two billion dollars, now I have to manage the one of our number with less than 200 million a fraction of what was there in the past. We needed to demonstrate that it is possible. It is possible to give people basic value. Albeit that from this year we will be changing gear. And when we change gear, Anambra, your hands in nothing yet. You know, Sam, wait till you hear for that video. You hear what it's a solid talk. You hear what I'm telling about Alex Oti in my opening. Uh, you see the similarity. Uh, Charles Soludo was celebrating two years in office. Now I call it tell us for two years I have not collected salary. Even my wife, there is no office of the first lady there. My wife is not a first lady. Because that's my private car in the drive. There is no budget for the office of the first lady. So that office does not exist in my own time. They are trying to cost, um, cut costs, you understand, and work for the people. But Chasu, make I ask you, when you did your first year anniversary, you not tell us you know the collector salary. No, you not tell us. 
All of a sudden, I don't do second year anniversary. You call members to tell us, say, you know they collect salary. Are you copying Alex Oti? <laughs> <laughs> because we are clear on and I do what see him. Charles Oludo, second time in office, is hanging on a rope. When they hear me, they hang on a rope. Make I prove I give one. He walked against his brother, Pito, uh, Pito Obi, becoming a uh, president. Everybody saw the role that he played. He walked against him. And recently now, even the Apga, now only him now. Abi? Eh, okay, Apga governor, yes, he's the Apga governor there in the state. There is no Apga senator. What we have is two Labour Party senator, one YPP that has not defected to APC. For the three senators. Two now, na eh, level one na APC. Then, eh, 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 House of Rep, out of eleven members, six na level four, Apga retained one YPP. Abi, eh. So even the House of Rep, when they use game out, they don't deplete them to four. <laughs> the Peter will be influenced. Uh -huh. That they are state house of assembly. I don't know how many labor did there and how many Africa did there. I don't know. But people like say labor get handle, then get long hand for there. But for this federal level side, Apoga has depleted. And the governor, the in fact. The only thing that will make Soludo to have a smooth ride for second tenor. Now say Peter Obi no come outside campaign for anybody to be governor. Walai, go right at somewhere. Go and check the last percentage where Peter Obi used win election. Presidential election inside Anambra State. Over ninety percent vote. The total vote cast and that's over ninety percent of the total vote cast inside Anambra State. Now which they use win inside Anambra State. Then he can't come outside and I can say, Labor! Like here we go, go inside your own state. Forget it. Soludo will be sent back to his village. <laughs> Charles Wambafo will be sent back to his village. So, I don't ask what they do. I'm going to make peace with people. If he come out, say, Nadi, now in state now, they go, you're going to forget, you have lost it. He lose the lawyer. Go and beg. If not, go and beg. If not, they will send Charlie Wamba for back to a village. I don't talk a finish. I go see you now later. For centuries, the Ijele has been a revered masquerade in Igbo land, a predominant tribe in southern Nigeria. The Ijele is a grand spectacle that commands respect, awe, and celebration. Today, Innocent Vehicles brings you the Ijele in a new form. A majestic, robust and monolithic pickup truck designed to leave an indelible mark in the annals of automotive history. The Innocent Ijele is equipped with a powerful 3.0L turbo engine and 4WD to conquer any terrain with ease. Make way for the Innocent Ijele, Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.